Tonight we begin with breaking news. Late today, a brutal video surfaced, apparently, apparently showing an American journalist, a young man from New Hampshire, executed, beheaded by members of the violent Islamic group ISIS. The images are too graphic to show. The details are still coming in, and ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, has the latest. He has seen the video. Tell us what you've learned, Brian. Well, Diane, it's a very chilling video. It's something no one will want to see. U.S. authorities say tonight they are studying this video posted late in the day. And in a statement, a White House spokesperson said, if genuine, we are appalled by the brutal murder of an innocent American journalist. The video appears to show the 40-year-old James Foley on his knees in an orange prison jumpsuit with his executioner next to him, holding a knife in his left hand. Foley disappeared in northern Syria about 21 months ago, around Thanksgiving of 2012, while he was on assignment for Global Post. He was a brave and daring reporter who had earlier been held captive in Libya before heading to Syria to report, ironically, on the brutality of the Syrian government against the rebels. In the chilling video posted today, Foley is forced first to make a statement on the American bombing of Iraq. Then his hooded executioner, speaking in English with what seems to be a British accent, addresses President Obama, saying the attacks by the U.S. Air Force had resulted, quote, in the bloodshed of your people. The video then shows the purported beheading of Foley, a disturbing scene, Diane. No one will want to see that. But again, this is an apparent video. We are still checking these details to make sure this is what it seems. And as you said, apparently in retaliation for That's the right. bombing by the His US. His colleagues, in fact, say they're holding out some hope that this is a fabrication. But in fact, at the end of this video, there's another picture of another hostage identified in the video as an American, Stephen Sadloff, who was a freelance journalist who disappeared in Syria. Someone has written a New York Times columnist note that seems to be a mutant strain of violence from ISIS.